Now we're going to learn how a sampling distribution can be used to, to provide estimates of precision about how good our sample mean is at estimating the population mean. Suppose we have a sample of 100 houses in Toronto, and we find that the X bar, the sample mean of the houses, is $350,000, and that the standard deviation is assumed to be $30,000, the population standard deviation, that is. So based on this question, we see that N is equal to 100, X bar equals 350,000, and sigma equals 3,000. Next, sorry, sigma equals 30,000. Based on this information, let's build the sampling distribution. We know that the sampling distribution is going to be normal because n is greater than 30. So it's going to be normally distributed and it's going to be centered at x bar. It's going to have a standard deviation equal to the standard error of the mean. The standard error of the mean is just equal to sigma, when sigma is known, over root n. So in that case, it equals 30,000 divided by root 100. That equals 3,000. So we now know the sampling distribution of the mean. Based on our knowledge of the sampling distribution, we can determine the probability of finding sample means within different ranges of numbers. For example, based on the sampling distribution, we know that we have a 68% chance of finding a mean value between x bar minus the standard error to x bar plus the standard error. So in this interval, we have a 68% chance of finding a sample mean. In other words, we can be 68% confident that when we go out and try to find the sample mean, we can be 68% confident that the mean is going to be in this range from x bar minus sigma to x bar plus sigma. Now, we can plug back our values of x bar and sigma, and therefore, based on our sample of houses in Toronto, we can be 68% sure, or 68.2% confident, that the mean sales price of houses in Toronto is $350,000 plus or minus $3,000. So here's 350 minus 3,000, so 347, and here's 350 plus, $353,000. So we can be sure that the house, that the average house price in Toronto, we can be 68.2% sure that the average house price in Toronto is within this range. What we've just done is we've calculated the confidence interval for a confidence level of 68.2%.